Hi guys, welcome back to my uh, latest video. It's been a, uh, well not long, about a week. But I picked up three games, so again, not many. Um, but three games that I really wanted to get. Now, over the eBay purchase that, uh, purchases and Amazon purchases that I've made over the past week, there's still a few to arrive. So, um, But I thought I'd do the video now, rather than wait, um, and do all the others on future videos. So the first one, I mean... <laughs> I laugh there because when I started my videos going back to like Christmas time, uh, a lot of you might be aware, or might not be, um, that I was going to go for the, uh, a full, not just one or two, a full Nintendo N64 Japanese collection. And over the, uh, over the past couple of months, that took a big nosedive to say the least. I just wasn't really picking them up um, at all. I didn't have a, a Japanese N64 to play them on. I still haven't got one uh, to play them on, but I am looking. Um, that's not a big deal because I'm preoccupied anyway with uh, life in general and games uh, for PS3 and 360 to, you know, to spend time on another console. Uh, but I will get into the 64 eventually. But anyway, so I've got another game for it. Uh, please with this one. Zelda. Uh, the Majora's Mask. Might have pronounced that wrong. Um, so this one, it's kind of weird because it's got the red at the bottom. And I think, but I could be wrong, I think this is like the Rumble Pack version. And it, if it is, it should have like a bigger outer box. Like, you probably can't see it, but one of the Pikachu games I've got. I don't know why I've got it. Um, I guess because I'm going for the full collection. But um, Pikachu, not exactly something I'm going to stick on in a, in a hurry. Um, so yeah, so if that's the case, I'm maybe a little bit disappointed about that, because there should be a bigger box for this. Um, but in saying that, I saw one on eBay uh, which had the big outer box, and it didn't have this on. So uh, I'm not sure what this is then. Maybe is it like a limited edition version or something? Not entirely certain. Um, but anyway, so I've got that. Let's actually, let's just show you the uh, show you the back. If that even picks up because of the light. Probably not. Bottom view. That's the best. No, oh, that's the best view. Well, there you go. Quick look inside. I think everything's complete, or it should be. Condition-wise, it's, it's actually really good. Uh, I mean, obviously, the way these boxes were designed with the little, you know, the flaps that you've got to unfold here, it does cause a little bit of creasing, but nothing out of the ordinary. So uh, you get your couple of little leaflets there. That's kind of standard. Um, the tray, very important tray, because otherwise the cart's just uh, moving around like something not right. The actual cart, all good condition. Um, the fold-out uh, control thing here. Again, you know, it looks very pretty and whatever, but Japanese, well, I'm not going to have a clue what's going on. Um, so, I mean, some people might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, you don't speak Japanese, what's the point? Um, I'm doing it because it's a bit of a novelty thing, um, Japanese games. Not many people do it, so I kind of like the idea of doing it, therefore. But more importantly than that, far more importantly, is I just love the artwork. Now, I could easily collect uh, Genesis or Super Nintendo Japanese, or even GameCube, uh, there's a few of them that look quite nice. Uh, but I just think the N64, there's not many titles to collect in the scheme of things, so I feel it's quite a, it's a realistic aim. With like the, the Genesis, I think it's got like two or three times as many games, and it's just, uh, that will cost a fortune, and I'm not really prepared to do something like that. But hats off to people who do, uh, for the or Genesis or SNES or whatever, um, just not for me. I pick up the odd title, but not a full collection, that would be crazy. But this one I, I kind of don't mind doing. Um, but like I say, on eBay, um, generally speaking, an, an N64 game will go for about $40 by it now. It's too expensive. Um, I picked this up for $16. So if I see an N64 game going quite cheaply like that, uh, or even cheaper than that, then, then I will pick it up. But I, I'm not going to uh, be held to ransom for paying stupid prices. And all, all the way, and also it, it also came with um, this. It's an official one, an official guidebook for uh, the game, Majora's Mask. And as you can see, it's obviously completely in Japanese. So that really, to me, isn't much use. Now, quite frankly, I don't use guidebooks anyway, and I never really have. I've, so I got this one because it came with it. I've got a Grand Theft Auto 4 one because that came with uh, a bundle that I bought, gone back on eBay a while back. Um, but I've not even looked at it. 
So, I mean, if anyone collects them, if anybody wants this, or the Grand Theft Auto one, you want to maybe do some kind of trade or whatever, then you're more than welcome to it because I am not going to use them at all. Alright, so moving on, two other games here. Um, first one on the PS3, Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Now, I had this when it came out, nearly a couple of years ago now, I think. Um, but I didn't really play it because I bought it with like a plethora of other games and I just didn't have a chance to give it like, to spend time with it basically. But the brief game uh, play that I did do with it, I did like it. Again, going back nearly two years. Boxed and complete. Now it was $20, which is kind of expensive to pay for um, a second hand game that's been out a couple of years. But it's quite hard to find for any less than that, really. If you can get it for like $10 or something, then congratulations. I nearly dropped it there, that was a good catch. Um, yeah, because really, you're not really going to get it, including shipping, for, I'd say, $16, $17. If you get it for less than that, then good for you. Uh, but I was prepared to pay the extra uh, few dollars, $20, including shipping. And to me, that was worth it. And I guess that's the most important thing. So, um, yeah, so I've got that added to, the, added to the collection. Now, you probably can't see, but up there, my PS3 games. I've got 15 altogether, so not a lot, obviously. Uh, but 12 of them are exclusives. The only exceptions are Madden 09, FIFA 10, and the Genesis uh, or Mega Drive collection. Uh, I've got them three because they were like they were gifts. And I play them anyway, so I, I'm not going to get rid of them. But generally speaking, I use my PS3 for exclusives only. And the only really exception, apart from the ones I, I have, uh, are things like I might pick up if like friends have got them. Like Modern Warfare 2, I nearly said 3 there. Modern Warfare 2, when that came out, um, I got it on the PS3 initially because a lot of my friends were playing it. Um, and then I got a bit bored of it, so I got rid of it. Um, and then I bought it again, uh, but on the 360. That's Modern Warfare 2. But again, I don't really play it that much, because, I mean, it is a good game, but it's, I've said before, it's it's same old, same old. There's nothing new in it, and it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit boring. And I found it really easy as well. Um, so that's that one. So please, that, uh, I've got that, because I've wanted it for a while. Now, 360. Aliens vs Predator. Now, I really wanted to get this when I first started seeing previews of it maybe a couple of years ago. And um, does it live up to the hype? Not really. Um, I mean, I really like the movies. I mean, Alien, Aliens, um, Alien 3 I, I didn't really like actually. Alien Resurrection, not even seen it. So maybe not that much of a fan after all. <laughs> I, guess. I like the first two anyway. Um, but anyway, so box and complete. Now it is very atmospheric. Um, you know, you go around, you've got your flashlight, the dark corridors. It definitely lives up to that kind of um, expectation, I've, I've got to be honest. You can play it as three people, the Predator, the Alien, or the Marine. Now I've only played it as one, and that's the Marine, uh, predictably. I guess the majority play it as the Marine. Um, it's all right. For me, the one aspect, it might sound silly to some people, I think it's missing big time a zoom feature. So if you've got an enemy there, you can't zoom in. There isn't a button that lets you zoom in. So there's a lot of firing from the hip, a lot of bullets flying everywhere, which you might turn around on its head and say, well, that kind of adds to the atmosphere. You know, in placed in that kind of hectic situation, you have time to zoom in. <clears throat> and I kind of understand that, um, that angle. Fair enough. Um, but still, I would like to have seen uh, a zooming feature. It would really have added to, uh, to the game. So like I say, I've only done maybe a couple of missions. I've only got two or three achievements, so clearly I've not spent that much time with it, but it's one I really want to get into. Um, picked it up again for about $20. Um, possibly could get it cheaper, um, but again, I'd rather not wait, uh, even if it's just a few weeks. I'd rather pay $20 now rather than you know, 15 or whatever I might get it for in a few weeks. So um, happy to get that. And $20 anyway, what's that about, 14 quid? It's not that much. Although in saying that, I, I did see a video, I think it was called 2 Fan the other day, and I think he picked it up for like 8 quid. And I remember thinking, bloody hell, it's a bargain. But even though it was a bargain in terms of price, considering what it, it was worth, you know, well, it still is worth $60 in the stores or whatever, $50. Um, I don't know, I, I, just, I just don't think it's a, a great game. We're kind of talking 6 out of 10, maybe 7, anything past that. I don't know, the Alien mission... I, even though I haven't played it in the game, I played it in a demo and it was rubbish. But anyway, guys, coming up to the 10 minutes. I think you get 15 minutes these days, but um, anyway, got to wrap this up within 10. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you later. Rock on.